Hey, and welcome back to Show Plays Fantasy Maiden's Odd Hideout. I have to stop myself from saying hangout, because that sounds better, but it's a hideout. Three days left. Let's get to it. Thursday. Took ill on Thursday. Uh... I didn't press any buttons, so I was gonna read that. The room's changed. My Anjie, pleased to see you. It's a wonderful morning. Uh, what is it now? Your Highness Anjie, something seems strange with you. S Cynthia, what's that? It's all weird. Weird? What's weird? And there's no problem at all. That's right. There's not one thing weird at all. After all, this is the true appearance of things. Well. There's a balloon. Hey, Burr. Ah, Anjay. Good morning. It somehow looks dark today, doesn't it? Ah, Burr, good morning. Huh? Anjay, what is it? You don't look so well, but do you feel ill or anything? Burr. It's nothing. Then I guess it's fine. But, Anjay, if there's ever anything, you can tell me anytime, okay? Like, if you're feeling unwell or anything. I might not be able to be counted on, but if I can do it, I'll do it. Alright. So then, I'll be going to the other side now. What a relief. Well, let's get this day started. That teacup never got a mustache again. I was around... It was around this time last year. What was? Just how many people will disappear, you wonder, right? It has come. This year again. The wolf has come to eat humans. Poker Fairy, how are you? I don't want to play, though. Loon go bye-bye. Uh, let's check on Burr. <gasps> Burr! He's fallen over. Burr. Uh, Anje, huh? What happened to me? You, Burr. You were fallen over. So you were indeed trying to push your limits, weren't you? It was you, rather, who felt unwell. <laughs> I guess Anje is Anje in the end. Saying, hey, isn't there anything I can do? Uh, then I think I'd like to eat something salty. All right, then. That a fairy has a salty thing or a drawer. Nah. How many people will disappear? Hey. I I'm sorry. Ah, so it's you, Andre. What is it? Hey, Noah, do you have anything salty by any chance? 
something salty? What would you be using it for? It's not that I'll be using it, just that I sort of feel like eating something like that. Then how about if you ask Matthew, since Matthew likes salty things more than sweet things. Some people are like that. I like sweet things better. Hey, Matthew, do you have anything salty by any chance? Well, I have some pretzels. Really? Then if it's fine, could you let me have some? Well, I do owe you a favor since you gave me money back then. Okay, I'll get you some pretzels. Thanks! Five pretzels. Can I exchange pretzels? Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose. He's your friend. May as well, after looking at the sparkles. An aged book with a plain front cover. A notebook? Once upon a time, in a certain place, there was once a beautiful girl who got lost deep in the forest and saved a wolf. The wolf, charmed at once by the girl's kindness and beauty, began to tag along with her. With each day, with each day as he changed in appearance, the wolf continued staring at the girl by his side. And then, one time, finally, the wolf began talking to her. Miss, if you wish, would you dance with me? The girl smiled cheerfully and nodded. As the two danced, under the moonlight, the girl also came to like the wolf. And so eventually there came a time when a child possessing a mysterious power was born between them. A handwritten fairy tale, perhaps. Sounds familiar. Her? Got you a pretzel. You like pretzel? Your chat screen has a pretzel and candy canes and a puppy and I think a stick. Burr. Anjay. Yes, here. This is... something salty. Anjay, thanks. Somehow I feel more energetic now. I see. Then, that's great. Yes, and here. These are yours, Anjay. Huh? But I'm alright. You can eat them all, Burr. But they'd be more delicious if the two of us eat them together. I guess there's no helping it. When you say it, when you say it like that, which is probably a better translation. Received half the pretzels. Speaking of which, we had something like this in the past. Anje, Anje, what is it? Here, I brought them from the food stall nearby. What? These are pretzels, sweet and salty. They're delicious. I really like them, and so, here, let's do halves. If I have them, then you'll have less. So is that really fine? It's alright. They feel more delicious if the two of us eat them together. I guess there's no helping it if you say it like that. See? They're delicious, right? Yeah, they're delicious. Burr, thanks very much. Oh, you were so cute back then, Burr. Uh, but, but now I seem cool, right? Um, 
Nope, still adorable. Guess we'd like to return to those old times. I don't want to return to the past at all. I want to become an adult sooner. And then, you'll never be able to visit this candy place. I guess that's what you want, Burr. Burnt's request. Anything else? Yeah, I'm alright now. But I guess it looked really uncool saying those things and falling to the floor like that. You don't have to mind that too much. I'm not demanding you to be cool in the first place. If there's ever anything, tell me, okay? Anjay, despite using harsh words, I guess you're kind-hearted in the end, aren't you? Like before. As always. Huh? It's nothing. I see. Well, I got some pretzels. Lingaling the roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Well, that's creepy. Which child is the ill one? Um... Fairies, you're broken. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Matthew has become ill. An evil spirit has made Matthew ill. That's not how sick works. Guys, why do you all look like that? It's a tool to protect our bodies from the illness. There is one and only one evil spirit lurking among us. That evil spirit has made Matthew ill. Evil spirit. That evil spirit is not I, you see? The reason why I am here is for you, my beloved Anje. And I'm merely a weak ghost. What? Anje with cheeks as red as berry tart. Your Highness Anje, please! Take out the evil spirit. Even if you tell me that, I wouldn't know who's who. We fairies are honest, but the evil spirit most certainly tells lies. So the one and only liar here is the evil spirit. Anje? Your Highness Anje, please. Okay. The one to my right is lying. The little one to my front is not the evil spirit. The evil spirit is the one of the ones beside me. I'm not the evil spirit. Okay, so he said this one was evil. Yeah, see? You can see my character turn. This one said that this one was evil. But this one said this one wasn't evil. And this one said that one of the ones beside him was evil. So the liar narrowed down would be this guy. I think. Linga ling below sis a pocket full of poses a tissue a tea. Should we all fall down? That's still weird. Exterminated the evil spirit. I was right. Your Highness Anjay, thank you very much. I feel all better now. Here, some cheeses, thanks in return. Cheese! Cleared, who is the sick child? I feel tired now. Hungry, too. Ah, Anje! Anje, I've brought food! Well, it was about time. I was starting to get hungry. 
So then, let's have a meal. A meal, huh? So for today too, meal time has come yet again. So then, let the party begin. Delicious, isn't it, Anjay? Yes, it's really delicious. It seems even more delicious and something more gorgeous. Time for dessert. Today's treat, Thursday's treat. The one that shall turn into a delicious dessert. Goodbye, Matthew. It was fun having you as a fairy. You helped, and now you're gonna get eaten. Let's dig in. The Thursday of Taking Ill. The day anything and everything began to change. Even though he at least, even if no other person was supposed to have been on her side. Please. Anjay, listen. Is safe. Somehow feel tired. Guess I'll go to sleep now then. Nah, we got more stuff to do. Hey, Burr. Burr, what is it? Just a little tired. Hey, Burr. You fell over again today. It's because you're overexerting yourself, aren't you? You don't have to mind me, so please take it easy, Burr. And as for food, I'm okay even if I have a little less. That's not it. Eh? It's nothing. It's unrelated to you, and I'm not overexerting myself, so everything's alright. I just fell over due to a bit of lack of sleep. I didn't sleep well yesterday, or the day before. It's that I felt uneasy not knowing when we can ever get out, so there's no helping it, you see? That's the reason why I'm tired, too. In fact, it would be strange not to get tired being locked in a place like this. I guess that's certainly true. Well, that's a relief. Cynthia's all bloody. Cynthia! Um, you're a ghost, right? That's right. I can also do things like pass through walls. And doors? Of course. Then, well, are you able to try looking around outside in place of me? In place of you? You'll have to give something big for compensation, you know? Like... Now, what will it be? That would be great, but... I also wouldn't want to give this up, either. Uh... Ooh... It's as if you're thinking up something unpleasant. I guess I'll ask for something in return afterwards. By something in return, you do mean something within reason, right? Right, Cynthia? Right? Right? Not supposed to leave without answering. I've looked. Cynthia, thanks very much. What kind of stuff did you see? It was... Well, I didn't quite know what in the world that was. First of all... It was big, and was shaped like many donuts piled on top of each other. And it had a pretzel-like color. And there was a waffle-like pattern on it. Seems like your head is just filled with thoughts about desserts as always, isn't it, Cynthia? I like sweet, delicious desserts about as much as I like you, Anjay. 
even if so. Just what kind of thing did Cynthia see? And for what it is. First, its shape. It was a ring. Donuts are ring-shaped, aren't they? And they're layered on top of each other, meaning it's a ring-shaped and has some thickness, perhaps. Next, its color. Uh, probably rock-like, because it's not sky or grass. If it's like pretzels, that means it's sort of reddish-brown or something, right? The only thing I can think of that seems to fit is a rock. Lastly, it's pattern. Planks, bricks, art, bricks. Waffle-like pattern. It could mean bricks, right? They're reddish-brown too, so surely they're bricks. Something with a ring-like shape, made of bricks. That would be... A well. That's right, it's definitely a well. There's definitely wells out there shaped like donuts piled on top of each other, made of bricks. Right? I see. So it was a well. I didn't quite know what it was. Cynthia, you don't know what wells are? I know what they are, but... It's just that I wasn't able to know what that was. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Anjie. I guess in the end, it's alright when it comes to compensation. I offer you this. Obtain souffle. Well, thanks! Well, actually, I had fun. Thanks very much. Together with Cynthia. Why are you here, Cynthia? That's because, you see, my Anjie, I've always been waiting for you. So much as to become ghost? Yes, I've been waiting for you, even as so far as to become a ghost. I guess she means after she died. Hey, Burr. Still tired, huh? Hey, fairies. It has come. This year again, the wolf has come to eat humans. Anjay now, was it fun? Was what fun? Uh, it's nothing, just nothing. A castle made of desserts, I didn't even press Z, or did I? Oh no, oh no! This is bad, real bad. Uh, I hear a voice from somewhere, but... It's from there, Anjay. People made of candy are talking about something, and they will continue to talk about that something until the next episode. I'll see you then.